what's going on everybody hopefully you guys had a great day today because i sure am so today we are up here on the west side of town in the mass plan community summerlin uh, we are looking at a new product by toe brothers uh, we are in the villa called uh, mesa and uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Toe Brothers' uh, new spec home, and what a spec home is is basically when a builder or a investor buys a property and they design the home. They're basically speculating on what the consumer uh, wants in a home. Okay, so we're gonna go take a look at this one right here, which is not done yet, but it will be done. Now, the asking price on here is $1,105,995. This thing is a single story, 3,418 square feet, features four bedrooms, total of five toilets, okay? The lot size is almost a quarter of an acre. Now, this is in the neighborhood of the overlook at Mesa Ridge. This is a modern architectural type of theme here. As you can see, we have a three car garage. Now this home is not complete yet, so keep that in mind. Also, I wanna show you what's cool about this right here. Here's a new feature that Toe Brothers is adding. This is actually a box. You know like one of those boxes, um, like those big Amazon boxes, like right next to like, I guess the 7-Eleven and stuff like that. Basically, this is where they can drop off stuff. So let me show you here. Your mail would be dropped here. Amazon packages and boxes would be dropped here. Then you just go into your garage and you just pick it up. So let's take a look at what we got here. So we have the sprinkler system you know that you always want to have the fire department check it every year also I do like the uh, main valve with the sprinkler system that could actually be turned off right here which is a great feature oh somebody's peeling out Ooh. oh wow so you got your rainbird now they have a system here that you could take this piece off and you can add a Wi-Fi connection. As you can see, Wi-Fi ready, learn more. So it looks like it's already connected here. You can connect this to your phone, which is really nice. Here is your power. You also have the power shut off on the outside. You have your soft water loop. And let's see if these are belt drives. So it looks like these are belt drive garage door openers and you should have the Bluetooth capabilities too as well. I love the uh, black window frames there. Those must be aluminum or are they... Hmm. They're actually, uh, what do you call, vinyl. Love the 30 by eight inch wood like tile. You got a nice side courtyard here. But let me just walk you straight down. Look at these ceilings. I believe these ceilings are 15 feet ceilings on here. Don't quote me on that. But man, look how big this room is, right? Love that island right there. That's gorgeous. You have a two inch waterfall on the island. Love the quartz. You got upgraded on the front cabinets. You got the front apron, undermounted sink. You got the upgraded faucet here. 
And you also got your dishwasher, which is nice. And you got your built-in right there. 42 upper cabinets. You got lights underneath, double stacked. However, with a three inch crown, there is no light rail. You got a custom grill here, which is really nice. Six burner. Beautiful. Okay. You got your dovetails, which is really nice. Hello, how you doing today? Making a lot of sales today? Yes, we are. There you go. <laughs> so we have some nice sliders here. Uh, it's not a zero threshold, however. Let me show you this right here. These are actually aluminum slides. And look how gorgeous this is. Let me just get this thing open here. Come back on the other side. So, I'm gonna come here, flip this thing around. Take a look at that. Look how gorgeous that is, right? Nice and open. Also, did you notice the tint on the windows too as well? The sun is gonna be on this side because the home is facing north. Sun is coming up here. So you're getting sun exposure all day here. But look how huge this lot is. Definitely a pool size lot. I mean, there's so much that you can do. We have the view fencing. This lot is 10,454 square feet. All right, I'm gonna take, take you guys out to the back here. Wow, this is interesting. This is very interesting. I've never seen this before. Tankless water heater system on the exterior of the home. Would you prefer this in the your garage or in the exterior? I actually kind of like this on the outside, believe it or not. Whoa, check this out. Look at this details on the concrete stucco here. They put some sort of flash in that kind of give you that more of a, a dimensional design to it. So that way it's just not boring. Look at that. Just those little kind of details, man. That's what gets me excited. Those little finishing touches. You got the pre-wire for the kosher lights. Pre-wire over here too as well. Right here is your access for your master. But check this out, with the master, you got the see-through fireplace. And you do have an option to put up this wall here. So that way you have privacy, you have your own little courtyard. You got kosher lights here too as well, or exterior lights pre-wired. And look here, you also have another exterior instant hot water heater, which is cool, or tankless water heater. Now, as you can see, Focus, this plumbing company, they're starting to kill it, dude. They're killing it in the uh, construction industry. Oh, look at this. This is starting to become common now. The uh, home team uh, exterminator. This is just a a system that runs into your wall that you can have the exterminator just plug into there and they can uh, just spray without walking around and walking inside your home. I think I would put a lattice going back and forth here. <laughs> They're getting that foundation ready. Oh, look at this. Natural gas line. Looks like somebody could be putting in a pool. Okay, so 
as a courtesy, we're gonna close this up real quick. I'll flip this over so that way you can see me closing it, I guess. I've been working out. around here show you the uh, pantry pantry is decent size okay so your cable your TV it's all pre-wired and as you can see we already have pre-wired for your alarm system and it looks like they didn't do the Murf, the Smurf tube which is really nice it looks better if you just pre-wire your cable and your Ethernet above I do love these uh, rocker switches with these lights here. That's an upgrade. So we'll start off here to the left. See what we have. We have half bath. Now, it is a little bit dark here. What I would have done was probably add more lights or change out the light bulb to uh, daylight. Oh, I've noticed um, real quick you have Orange peel texture with the straight edge. If you're going modern, you do straight edge. And also you have your two and a half inch baseboards. Okay. You have a two and a half inch casing around the door. So this is your master here. Now, off to the master, we're gonna go to the right here is your master bath. So we have, there's like an eight pound padded carpet, transitions back into the tile that's consistent throughout the whole house. You have your standalone tub. And they've tiled this all the way to the top. Now, everything kind of looks yellow because of the color of the lights here. The tub right here is a fiberglass tub. Now, you have custom cabinets, but they're not, they're not full overlay cabinets. I would say they're one notch down. I love the full overlays. It's a more of a custom look. Undermounted sink. You have this nice quartz. Flip this thing back around here. Same thing on the other side. Finally, some builder does this. Look at this. One valet here, another valet here. That is so perfect. Like, when you build a custom home, especially like at a million dollars, you should have two bathrooms or two toilets for his and hers. Uh, we have the closet here. However, the closet has not been upgraded. Also, I wanted to mention uh, there are SIDS and lids here. Here's the attic access. Oh, take take a look at that. You're using radiant barrier up there. And that's a tech shield. I've never heard of that company, but that's a good radiant barrier though. I mean, at least they have a radiant barrier. So there was no upgrades here in the closet. The two panel door was upgraded. Now they did tile work. Check this out. Ooh, this is hot boy. Look at this. Zero threshold. Bam. And only one shower head? Get the hell out of here. They did only one friggin' shower head. Take a look at this. They did tile all the way to the top. Look how much room you have. Only did one shower head. I would have did, look, you got a his and hers, his and hers, and her closet, but he doesn't have a closet. What the hell? Look. You come in here, you sh he should have his with his own shower head. She should have hers with her own shower head. That's what I would uh, customize on here. That's the thing, when, when you're specking a property, you need to make sure you're specking it the right way. All real quick, thermostat right here, digital programmable to your phone. The master. Uh, math master is uh, 17 by 15 on here. Now also, um, the master plan fee is $46 a month and also just for this HOA is going to run you $225 a month. They did pre-wire for the TV above the uh, fireplace. However, you're probably going to need a mantle. If not, 
this heat is going to reflect off of here and it could actually ruin your TV. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it could be a possibility. All right, let's come on down here. Come on down. So off to the left, we have another bedroom. So this bedroom is 14 by 12. These gotta be at least 13 foot ceilings, but I gotta, I gotta check. And the color in here is just pretty much like all light gray. Even from the baseboard to the door. Oh, that's a very low tub. I like the glass tile though. Check this out, all the way to the top. Damn. Laundry room. Hey, at least they did the, uh, what do you call it, the sink here, and the cabinets. With the crown, that's really nice. It's gas heat. Also, uh, real quick, with the SIDS and LIDS, uh, the annual payment on here is $625. Now, if you are serious about this property, earnest money deposit is about $52,000. Here's your formal... I was going to say formal dining, but no, this is not a formal dining. So it looks like what they have is an office here. I mean, look how high these ceilings are, man. Wow. Off to the left here was your three-car garage coming out here. Okay. Also... This little area right here looks to be your valet. Not too sure why they put a plug here. You got your air filters right there, okay? Okay, so here's your utility closet. Security system, all set up and ready to go. That's your smart box, you lift it and slide it. Uh, I don't prefer the... Um, the metal ones because what you have to do is take this push it against the wall and slide it up so you see this right here you have to take this and slide this up i don't i don't like that it kind of ruins the wall they have another one where it's like a plastic one where you just um push the clip and it opens up like a door those are better to me anyway and you have a what do you call it nine foot slide and those are aluminum which is really nice so we got Two more rooms here. This is very unique. So you come on this side. You have a room with its private bath. Okay. And you have a six foot slider here and a six foot on the other side. Okay. Now, this is actually pretty smart. Take a look at the option on here, what they did on this slide, right? On the exterior, it's black. On the interior, it's white. So if you have that option with this builder, that's a pretty good option to have. You got your floating vanity coming into your fiberglass tub. And again, you got tile all the way to the top. Undermounted sink with the quartz. Now, this one, all they did was pre-wired a ceiling fan. I would have did four cans on here. They did do the option on putting your flat screen TV right there, which is really nice. Let's see what else they have here on this one. What do they do? Now, both rooms are identical. Okay, cool. 
TV right here again. You got your closet. So these rooms are about 11 by 13. Oh, the bathroom here is different. They didn't do a tub on here. I do love the shower with the glass tile to the top. All right, cool. Well, that's pretty much it for this tour. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you would pay about, uh, what is this? What are they asking? $1,105,995 for this uh, spec home. Or let me know in the comments below what you would do right? if you were going to spec out your own home. Also, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up too as well. So, other than that, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.